Hello everybody, I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin. Welcome back to Fortnite. It is update day on a th uh, Wednesday. What? It's a little bit weird, right? Normally the updates come every single Thursday without fail. On occasion, they'll throw out an update on a Tuesday or open a limited time event on a Tuesday, but that's it. So a Wednesday's really out of character. And I've got a little theory as to why, which we'll get to in just a moment. But first, let's talk about the brand new vending machines. And oh my God, I hope I don't have to shake the thing furiously in order to get my items come out of that stupid little coil. So let's start off by talking about what they do. And then I have got 10 locations as to where they are located on the map, on footage, on video so you know exactly where they're going to be. So as you'd expect, it's a vending machine, so you have to pay something to get something. So let's go through the costs of these to start off with. If you find a common vending machine, that is going to cost 100 materials. You find a green, 200, and it goes up in 100 increments all the way to legendary. You can find legendary vending machines. And each of these vending machines are going to sell three items, and it can be anything from a shield potion, to a minigun, to a jump pad, to a sniper rifle, to an RPG. Every single vending machine has three items available, and one of them will cost a wood amount, one of them will cost a brick amount, and one of them will cost a metal amount. And there are no limits to the amount of times that you can buy these items. So if you've got a whole squad with you, and you've all got loads of materials, and you find a vending machine that's kicking out RPGs, you can all go to town on it. So when you approach the vending machine, you're going to see an image of an item, weapon, whatever it may be, and it's going to have a little circle behind it. Basically, once that finishes its rotation, it'll move to the next item, but if you want to speed up that process, you can thwack it with a pickaxe, and it'll go through the options again. And don't worry about breaking the vending machine with your pickaxe. It is literally indestructible. <laughs> Believe me, I've tried. Here's a little bit of footage of me trying to blow it up with like eight remote bombs. Not a scratch. And now to address the title of the video. Here are the 10 locations of various different vending machines inside of Fortnite. Just bear in mind as well that they don't spawn every single game, but they do always spawn in the same location. First up, the cafeteria at the prison. One of the most underrated landing locations in the entirety of Fortnite now has a little extra something something going on. If you go around the back of the cafeteria next to the garage door, there's a vending machine right there. The second one I found today was over at the Lonely Lodge. So the actual main Lonely Lodge building, you know, the larger one has like two or three chests inside of it if you go to the eastern side of that building just by the window there's a vending machine chilling out there my third one today was actually part of my usual chest run route so when you go north of the prison but it's a little south and slightly east of retail row there's a little gas station there and a house it's one of the newer locations that they put into the game that also has a vending machine on the eastern side of the middle building number four is the most randomly located one that i've personally found today <laughs> i've had people tweeting me images of them on top of mountains and in really isolated areas this one is just the same so if you go southeast of the greasy grove and you make your way to the southeastern corner of the tile c7 on the map so to figure that out you look down the side of the map you see a letter or a number same again across the top and you work out where you're going right by there there's a black brick hut with a little white rooftop and next to that is a vending machine then things get a little bit coastal so if you want to go all the way down to lucky landing on the southern coast it is the westmost in building has a vending machine just outside of it so number six is two but i guess ten technically one because I don't have footage of the other one but if you go to the northernmost buildings in retail row which is obviously the stores you go to the bookshop on the northern strip there's one right there and the reason that I said this was two is because on the western side of the town so the other shops there's apparently one that spawns by the mum store but I've not got that confirmed you might start to notice a trend here there are a lot of these vending machines by gas stations the next one up is in salty springs number eight I really like because it's slightly more hidden than some of the others if you go all the way over to the eastern side of the map to where the racetrack is it's very distinct on the map, so you won't miss it. It's just south of the Lonely Lodge. You want to go to the side of the racetrack where the house is. And then if you look beneath the stands or the bleachers, whatever you want to call them, there's a vending machine right there. It's time for another gas station. Number nine can be found over at the gas station by the Football Arena. This can be found basically directly west of Tilted Towers, east of Snobby Shores. And of course, I had to dig deep. I had to get brave for number 10. Tilted Towers vending machine is located in the southern west corner at the pawn shop. So there's my current list. If you do know of any more, please leave them in the comment section below. I want to know where they are. You want to know where they are. Share the knowledge. And I guess my final tip would to be use your ears. You can hear the vending machines if you're close enough by them. It's not as loud as the treasure chest, but it does make a little sound every time it swaps between the various different images. It sounds kind of similar to the windmills that you get over at the farms, but just way quieter than that. So with the vending machines out of the way, let's talk about something else that's very, very important inside of this update. They have gone ahead and fixed the first shot accuracy. So to address this, Epic have gone ahead and given pinpoint 100% accuracy to the first of controlled shots. Let's say, for example, you have an assault 
assault rifle. You're stood there, completely static, you don't have to be crouching. You are then aiming down sight, so you've got the right mouse button held down, left trigger on controller, and you'll notice the crosshair now starts to shrink until it actually touches together. And when that happens, that means your next shot is going to be mwah, beautiful. And there's all your updates, that's all your patch notes, but before we go, let's quickly talk about why the update went out today. I'm personally of the belief that tomorrow something big is about to go down. There are loads of people that have seen the meteorite in the sky, across the Fortnite world we've seen telescopes coming out that are all geared up and looking straight at it, and everybody is very certain that this thing is going to come down and obliterate Tilted Towers. And I mean, for God's sake, we've been decrypting Morse code on the Xbox One controller rumble for the past week. And you know what? I'm of the belief that I will do. I think that is going to happen tomorrow, so if it does, be sure to come back to the channel, subscribe before you leave today, ring the bell if you want notifications and all that good stuff, enjoy the rest of this video, I hope all my info was helpful, and I will see you later. Let's see if I can get this guy as he comes over the top here. Oh, man, I've never, I don't think I've ever killed somebody when they've been mid-air, like with a glider. We had that really close call with the missile last game, didn't we, that we did, or the last video that we did. Let's see what we can do here. Really, I shouldn't move. Somebody is getting a little bit cheeky over there. Got that perfect shot, yeah, there you go, 21, 22. Mmm, okay. Taking about half his armor off. Oh, God, wait, hold on. Can I even see him in there? I swear I just saw a space. Yeah, I did. Okay, right, hold up. There's five of us left. I can, I'm aware of at least three enemies right now, which is really good. Nice. Got that guy for 20 as well. He has no armor, so I'm under the assumption that he is going to be easy pickings later on. Uh, let me try and nab you. Oh, he moved just in the last second. I don't even know if I should really be waiting with the burst fire to get that, like, perfect first shot. Because the burst fire is pretty accurate as it is anyway. Oh, he has an RPG. I have a nade launcher. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Really? The bloom is that big? Dude, I totally should have gotten him even just the teensiest bit. Come on, little knock in. There you go. 19. There wasn't even that much of him out. That should have been his head. Oh, hello, friend. He's chilling out there. There's the white space lady going around to him. So let's see what happens there. I don't think they're even getting close enough to him. Oh, okay. All right. Bail, 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 bail. Let's just put an extra wall between us and him. I'm going to keep an eye on him. We're aware of three enemies. There is still one that we're not accounting for, I think, though. Or two enemies, even. Oh, wait. Unless that is them. Wait, wait. So there's... Yeah, there's Black Space Man, White Space Lady, and then there was the unarmored guy. Unless he's now dead. He might be the one that died. Somebody else could be behind me in retail. Oh, if I could kill him or her, even... That would work out nicely. This has been the most boring game of my life, dude. <laughs> it really has. It really... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're there, you're there, you're there. I'm actually just going to let you two fight it out. Yeah. In fact, maybe put the pressure on. Maybe that can bring you forward slightly. Ooh. I can see him down there. Tell you what, let me move into the circle real quick. The sooner I can get set up and be all cushy and safe, the happier I think I'm going to be. I can just make basically make a massive thing out of, like, brick and... They're going to have to do some real work to get inside of here. There we go. And I've got the high ground advantage as well, like quite significantly as well. So I've gotten into a habit recently of doing this, right? So I've gotten into a habit of making like two of everything, just so that it casts a little bit of doubt as to where exactly I am. And then I either have like the ramps going like either way. Uh, oh, yeah, go on then. Let's have you. Go on then, let's have you. Let's have you. Let's have you. One of them into that RPG. Oh, one's down. There we go. Is it just me and that one unarmored guy left? Oh, mate. <laughs> oh, friend. Oh, friend, oh, friend. I'll tell you what. I'm just going to wait here for a second. I wonder where he's going to go to. There's big piles of loot there that he wants, but I'm not sure he's going to be brave enough to go for it. I just don't see him going for that. So, yeah, like I was saying, normally I do uh, two staircases that are going, like, opposite directions. And then I'll do, like, an archway between the two of them. Or I do this, like I've done, where I go ahead and I, um... No, no one there. Uh, I go ahead and I actually just, like, edit a little bit of the of the roof out. Well, I say the roof, the, the, the upper part of the wall. Right, there's a supply drop there and loads of loot there. I can't really keep eyes on both of them properly, so... I'm going to assume he's going to go for the supply drop. Wait, did I... Whoa, 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 did I see something there? Or did I mistake a lamppost for someone? Nope, yeah, there he is. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Happy Easter. Have a wonderful Nestle death. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. He can't be stupid enough to stay there, right? He can go all the way around the side of this building and go elsewhere. He is that stupid. <laughs> right, well, that is it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I don't even know if I'll, I'll even use this. Three kills over the space of like 25 minutes. Have an awesome one. There is a little look at the brand new items, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.